Okay, here we're going to have the answer to the problem with the air conditioner. Now this thing was a lot of fun. I got a big kick out of this. Got a lot of cool answers on what the problem was with this thing. Uh, a lot of you guys were right. Some of you guys thought there was a restriction, which was actually kind of the opposite of what happened. But uh, a lot of you guys did get it right, and I got a lot of fun answering some questions and stuff in this thing. This thing was a, a real ball to do. So, you can see there, I've unsoldered the uh, liquid line, and here you can see there was nothing. There was only the distributor. There was no expansion device in here at all. Uh, some of you guys have found this, had this happen before. Uh, this thing ran for nine years this way. Uh, even had about a 10 degree temperature split. Compressor seemed to survive it, everything. But anyway, I'm going to show you next uh, what the pressures are now. Note that it's a real high ambient, so we got a little higher numbers than normal. Anyway, thanks again for all the fun with this thing, guys. Okay, pretty much our final numbers here is 85.4 with 11.1 superheat with a 12.4 target superheat. 256 with 8.7 subcool. Our temperature is still reading. It's 92.4 right now. Okay, our temperature split across the coil was 21. Okay, I guess this thing is back to running like a real live air conditioner in spite of all the uh, problems it had. And uh, I will be using this mule for quite a few more tests. We'll be doing target superheat and things like that. But it was an interesting little problem. You never know what you're going to find out there when you're out in the field. Anyway, thanks again, guys, for a lot of, a lot of fun.